vector basics so we'll uh, start in main and uh, I find the easiest way to deal with either 2D or 3D vectors is to use uh, this kind of notation so we'll get the keyboard up and head down to math 3 and here's a set of square brackets now if we want to enter this vector here 2i plus 3j uh, 2 comma 5 tap execute and uh, notice that the comma that we put in is gone and class pads just converted it into a kind of um, a, a row vector here and um, then we can do all sorts of things with it using the action vector menu you notice there's all the common kind of commands that we might want to do with a vector here so maybe the first one is find its magnitude norm and when we tap execute there it is it's root 29 um, if we wanted to find a unit vector same idea vector unit vector now this time we obviously need to put a vector after it so I'll just drag a copy down like this and tap execute and there's our unit vector if we wanted to convert this vector into polar form rather than Cartesian action vector to polar down the bottom there um, and here it is let's take a copy of our original vector so it doesn't matter whether we take it class pad style or R style where we have basically just typed it in when we press execute class pads converted it now that's not particularly pretty so let's um, convert that into here we go because we're in degrees down here there's the magnitude uh, and here's the angle with the positive x-axis so I'm guessing if we convert root 29 there's the magnitude yeah so um, that's that now for any function that involves more than one vector such as finding the angle between a couple of vectors or the dot product then we separate our vectors with a comma so here we go action vector let's find the angle between uh, this vector 2 5 and another one so I'll put a comma to separate the two vectors square brackets and inside let's put this other one vector B 4 comma 3 4 comma 3 tap execute again because we're in standard mode we're getting an exact value let's convert it and it's 31.3 degrees is the angle between those um, similarly we could carry out a dot product the same way so if we wanted a dot product of these two vectors uh, I'll be lazy just copy them down and tap execute the dot product is 23 um, sometimes it's handy to store them we might want to assign the vector 4 comma 3 to B so we would do that assign it head off to um, the variable tab B and now whenever I do anything with B uh, the vectors return so I could do things like vector the magnitude of B is 5345 so um, ways of dealing with vectors in class pad